Pop. He's absolutely gunning for it. He's on right. the cusp. Uh, DJ, also another one of those people, uh, knows his place very well on the cusp, uh, really fighting for it. So this is a, a match. I don't know if you were here la last week to see uh, the, the match between these two. I did watch the VODs. The VODs were incredible. So we're going we're gonna to see a little bit of a rubber band match here. DJ's probably got some salt on his, uh, on his plate. But uh, so far, e e even setting coming into these two. Um, match, I would say a little bit in favor of Sheik. Versus yeah, the aerials now that Sheik's, in favor of Sheik Sheik's, because Sheik's fair really works against Peach trying right. to get the, the, the that aerial control in this one. Peach's aerial control is very very stifled by Sheik. She very has bouncing fish, so even if she's not if Sheik's not super close, she has a way to approach that's also a kill move. So it's going to be very dangerous. It, it on is, the and ground, Sheik still has control. In 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 in, in traditional traditional Smash games where you, we've seen these two characters go at it before. Um, she traditionally uses her faster movement speed to go against Peach's aerial game, which is traditionally very fast. In right. this one, it's a little bit slowed down, so we're going to see a, a, a little bit of DJ trying to bait with the aerial game, but maybe trying to, to work it into some ground counters, but right. we'll, we'll see between the two. It's, it's going to be a very interesting matchup. Thanks so for far, knowing exactly where to put on the pressure. Oh, and I'm, very like, much so. It's something that can be character specific, and I think that's how he's playing it right now, but he's also learning DJ. And he, the thing about is. Sheik is knowing where to put on the pressure, and when you do, you can achieve quite oh. a bit. Okay. And, and and he knows his 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 game is work the work the ground game. Try and get 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 Peach in the air. He's gonna try and get those up up, up aerials. Because right. that's see like we saw, even just off the, the, the edge guard right there, he's really trying to get those uh, up airs because that that's his bread and butter kill move right there, especially against Sheik. Who's gonna try to come in and approach from an aerial game? Fairs, up airs, gonna be his 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 go-to moves right now. Good use of the up B recovering low. She can't really cover as much low. She'd have to come down with a completely telegraphed move, but that up air is going to kill DJ. Exactly. Stocks Ooh. completely tied. DJ with that was amazing that, forward was that, a, was that a tennis racket? What do we that have there? The, but that was a tennis racket right there. Yo, Australian Open may be almost done, but <laughs> <laughs> DJ's just like, yo, we got after hours going here at the Foundry. <laughs> Whether y'all like, know oh, or that, not. That tennis run back real quick. Whether you know or not, you see right there we go. We go Fangfire known for those early percentages. He wants to get some fares. He wants DJ to come in off stage because it, those are the most telegraphed moves. He's going to have his right. opportunities for the up air. He's going to do what he can. One of the things that's really strange about this matchup is that Peach typically likes to be slightly above her opponent. Usually almost like a like a weird, not 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 above, not side, but like this, right. this kind of like very in between diagonal, 90 degree like hitbox. Very close to the 90 degree angle. Where right. that's where Peach wants to be, like but Sheik, sitting at like 75, 80 degrees, I'd say for the for the Peach mains out there. Right, right. and but Sheik loves that angle. Her moves, her tilts, all work at that angle. Yep. Her forward air covers that space. It's a it's a real hard counter to Peach right now. And bouncing I, I, fish moves at that angle, it, so it's that's, very it, hard for Peach to. Does, does get bouncing fish actually bounce back and then like up onto it, or do you know will it? it if someone's forward and if it hits shield or a character, it bounces back. It'll bounce back. Okay. Very bouncing fit. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh my great goodness. Great job there of getting DJ, that fair. Amazing job using his his float cancel to edge guard, knowing that it may, maybe his down air was going to work, but whether it was a great read or whatnot, uh, that, that was an amazing. I got to yell at DJ real quick. Yo, that was. Stay Pete! Stay Pete, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> DJ's Pete we, is we, so we, fucking we, good. We're, we're, proud of our, we're proud of our boy here. It, uh. it, 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 DJ is holding it down on the Peach front for the North yes. Crew. Dude, there are only two good Peaches in North. Well, three. Well, okay, technically two in NorCal and one in Central California. I got Nomad. DJ. Have you have you seen Nomad? Nomad has been playing a lot of Rosalina Luma. Lately. Is he really? Yeah, he's been switching over to Rosalina what? Luma. Oh my goodness! A lot of the players that I've seen were dedicated mains around right. the 3DS days are starting to like branch out yeah. into secondary. Stuff, switching so. it up. I mean, one of the things I noticed about the 3DS version in comparison to the Wii U version is that people die a lot earlier. Oh wait. ATs are much easier to do with a GameCube controller, and uh, overall the the character changes have been very popular. They have been. But we'll see. A lot of the players are really, now that we're getting into it, starting to nail down their mains. Oh, this is not a good stage change for... Oh, for DJ's so good at that! My god, that upbeat! Again, the oh, tennis oh, racket! Oh He's my reads. lord. Oh! That's a oh my kill! God! 71% is Someone this take game. this literacy away from this man. Yo. Oh my goodness. Yo. That was beautiful. DJ, that was, okay, so... That was a painting. He's, he's got a stitch face! 
Oh, oh my god. And the worst part is, this is not a good th thank you, thank you, thank okay. you. This is not a good stage Ooh. matchup or stage transformation yeah. for Peak. It's this is heavily in Sheik's favor. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, thank you, DJ. They knock down those statues, those are not good for you. And any projectile use, any any sort of uh, floating game is really cancelled by Sheik's ability to really just forward air you to almost your death off, right. the, off the side of the stage. Here. And hitboxes get left out a much, much longer they do. Oh, okay. when you're hitting another thing. So, like, with the, sh the statues, the statue, your hitboxes exactly. are going to be out longer. They, That's they just get, way get, better for uh, Sheik. Diluted almost, right. you know? We get, we get an FD tilting sort of Lilat scenario here. So, almost favors favor both, both members. Ooh. DJ's racking up a lot of percent. Fangfire's not catching Fang, the no, DI he's, out of those grabs. Been, he's so hungry for it. He oh. knows he wants it so bad, and I feel like DJ's gonna catch him off one of these reads here sooner or later. That fair is so powerful. Oh my good. DJ's oh. been doing so good at reading oh. uh, the double jump when people are trying to retreat back to the ledge. And not only that, Fangfire's getting really hungry for an up E kill or even some up E damage, and I feel like DJ's just gonna catch him off one of these times with the tennis rack. Oh! oh! My god! Like that, a quick 2-0, oh, my Me goodness. Me amo Dios mio. Oh my god. Good lord.